Today I'll show you how to replace this bland variable display with this awesome, juicy, satisfying number counter. And so the first thing we're gonna need for our number counter is obviously some numbers, not this cat. So me? let's go ahead and delete it. Let's go ahead and click on choose a sprites. Scratch already has some built-in numbers for us, so let's search for number one. Here we go, we have glow one. This might not be the number that you want, so you could use the text tool and just type in number one, scale it up to however you like it, and then just to do all the numbers until nine. Let me go ahead and upload number two. So there we go, we have our nine numbers. Now we're forgetting one more and that is zero. Okay, so now that we had them all added into the game, let's go ahead and rename these to one, two. All right, so I went ahead and removed the glow from all of the names. So now they're just one, two, three, four, five, all the way to zero. So let me just get my row. The first thing we need to do is make the clone so that the numbers will show on the screen. Let's go to my blocks and let's make a block, call it clones. And make sure to press run without screen refresh. All right, in our clones custom block, let's go to repeat 10, create clone of myself. Now we need to assign a variable for each clone so we can detect which costume to switch to. Let's go to variables, make a variable. Let's call this clone. Make sure to tick for this sprite only. So before repeat 10, let's set clone to 1. And then after create clone of myself, change clone by 1. Now we don't want all the clones to spawn in the same place. So let's first move the clone to the center of the screen, move to 0, 0. And then let's change X by 50. So now we need to run this clones block. Let's go to when green flag clicks, clones. So now we create 10 clones on the screen and you can see they keep on going until they disappear. First, let's switch to the current score. So we need a score variable for that. Let's make a variable called score. Okay. And let's double click on this again. And here we can now have a slider variable so we can see we change that slider and we go from zero to 100. So how do we switch to the costumes? When I start as a clone, ever and all we need to do is switch costume to letter of score and the letter is going to be our clone variable so let's drag out the clone and our score variable let's go to operators and drag out letter one of apple the letter one of apple is a letter one of score is going to be two so if we do the clone each clone is going to now have its own costume so now you'll see that the first two letters and now the first two of score. Now we just need to hide all of the other clones on the screen right here. It's pretty simple, let's go into our costumes. Let's right click on our last costume, press duplicates, just delete 10, and then let's remove the costume zero. So now the costume name is blank, and the costume is blank also. So now you can see only the score is showing up on the screen now. So now the last thing we need to do is center the text so it's not off shooting on the sensor right there. Let's go to motion, drag out, go to X zero and Y zero. So what we need to do is get the length of the score and then divide it by two. Let's go to operators, drag out a divided by block and a multiply block. Now we need to divide length of score by two. So let's go to operators, let's drag out length of apple and then instead of apple, let's go to our variable and put in score, and let's divide that by two. Now let's put that in the first multiply block, and in the second, we'll put the amount of spacing we want to have for the text. So let's put in 50. Now we can snap that inside of our x variable. Okay, now we need to subtract half from each clone. Let me take out this length of score divided by two, and let's go ahead and put a minus block in there. Let's put the length of score back in the second minus. And for the first one, let's take away subtract 0.5 from our clone variable and there you go now you can see that all of the letters are distributed evenly across the center of the screen let's go to our looks category and let's drag out change size by 10 and if you watch my other video you know how to do this size hack we're going to take out the multiply block put 0.3 times 100 minus size so this is a smooth size hack. Let's snap that in there. And now all we need to do is change the size of one of our clones. So first we need to detect which clone we want to change. Let's go to control and let's drag out if then. Let's detect if our costume name is not equal to the letter clone of score. Not equals to 50. 
Let's just right click on letter clone of score, press duplicates, and now we need to put costume name in here. So costume number, change that to name. Okay, let's just put this over our forever block and let's take out the go to X. So now switch costume to letter clone of score is now inside of that if block. Now after we switch costume to letter clone of score, let's change size by 20. So now any clone that changes its costume is going to have our size animation. So we can have up to 10 clones on the screen, that means 10 digits. That is, I think that's a couple million. Cool. Make sure to like the video, make sure to smash subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.